all the EMC problems really start at the PCB level. Okay. And then they can manifest at every level above that. Um, sometimes on the board, sometimes not until you're looking at an entirely fully assembled electric vehicle city bus, <laughs> which oh, is geez. one of the things I got to troubleshoot. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Um, but fundamentally, it's there are certain things that are going to generate electromagnetic noise. And uh, I think the th everyone's kind of aware that motors are going to generate noise. Um, things that have sparks, like it used to be one of the only things you worried about on a car was the spark igniters, right, from the fuel injection right. system interfering with the AM radio. <laughs> that was like it. <laughs> Cars have gotten a lot more complicated since then. A lot more sophisticated. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot more stuff to go wrong. Um, but one of the things that I think is uh, less obvious to people mm -hmm. is that any switching operation generates electromagnetic noise. Right. Um, and that's not, oh, sometimes it does that. That's what happens when you have switching operations. Now, that means DC to DC converters. So just because you have you know, DC on one side, and DC on the other, all the switching that happens to go from like, you know, wall power to 12 volts or wall power to five volts or five volts to 3.3, that's all generating electromagnetic noise at higher and higher frequencies. Um, now that noise can be more severe, it can be less severe, but it's always there. The other thing is um, every single digital electronic system fundamentally is switching voltages. Right. That's how we do, you know, the, all those billions of transistors that we've got on the chips, switching, 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 right? That's, that's what they spend their entire lives doing. All those switching operations generate electromagnetic noise. Now, again, mostly at the chip level, the current involved is so tiny that, right. you know, yes, it's generating electromagnetic noise, but it's nanoamps pico amps it's not something every you know that's going to really cause a problem unless you get really unlucky which does sometimes happen um, but the fundamental clock frequencies a lot of times you'll see noise at, at those frequencies or at their harmonics power supply switching really really common and then the more power you're dealing with the worse the noise problems get so that's where electric vehicles where you're switching you know just huge amounts of power from the dc battery to the ac motor oh that gets that gets really extreme 